With the addition of Mick Taylor in the early 70s, a lot of people consider the Rolling Stones to be at the peak of their powers. And this is where this performance is taken from. This is from one of their DVD releases of a live performance concert. This is from Ladies and Gentlemen. This is of the track Jumping Jack Flash, which I think has maybe one of the greatest lines or at least opening lines I've heard so far on this channel, which is, I was born in a crossfire hurricane. And with that, patented um, jagger swagger during the delivery of the line it's just a fantastic way to start off what is probably one of the great riffs of rock and roll history so i can't wait to get into this performance hope you enjoy the video here we go after about two hours of playing football i can't think of a better way to end off the day than some rolling stones if you do end up enjoying the video hit the like button maybe share it with a friend or hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already this is jumping jack flash live 1972 <laughs> Moves like Jagger. Man, that riff is powerful. It's got a gnarl to it. Snarling. The power of the band is that show, the attitude and swagger of the band and the riff, for whatever reason, live has more bite to it, man. This has teeth and it's because of the way Keith is delivering it, man. It's really with so much attitude. So it's so rare that a, a track is transformed to be far, far better live. And I think that's the case here, man. Mick Taylor. <laughs> Ooh. Dude. The more I watch Jagger, the more I see that James Brown influence in him. You know, he's definitely got uh, his own unique style of dancing around, but the way he delivers his lines in that rhythmic style that James Brown has, I think you can see it really clearly in this performance. Damn, that guitar tone is so good. It's got teeth to it, man. Oh, here the keys go off. Turn it up, dude.
Wow. That was powerful, man. It's crazy to see how all these like English musicians saw what blues artists, black artists in America were doing and were so inspired by it that they transformed the music so fantastically. You know, Led Zeppelin, the Rolling Stones, they were all influenced by blues musicians. I mean, Clapton, I think is the same thing. Um, and they took it to this new crazy place where it's like, it feels dangerous, you know, it feels it's full of attitude. Um, great, great performance, man. It's a shame that they didn't put Mick Taylor more on the camera. That guy was going off, man. He's such a fantastic uh, lead guitarist. But I think the real star of that performance was Keith. Keith's guitar playing skills, man. He's so in the zone, dude. You can see the way he's performing. He's totally free. Like the way he was shaking his head. He's so in sync with what's going on. Um, that riff was transformed, I feel like, because of the way he was playing it live, the energy of the crowd and the performance. Dude, that was fantastic. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, I mean, what else can I say? The performance that uh, Mick Jagger gives as well, with all that attitude and those uh, kind of crazy dance moves that he's known for. Uh, really cool to see live, finally. 72, probably, probably the peak of their powers, right? Um, regardless, great, great video. Two thumbs up.